In this episode of 6 to 8 Minutes, we seek to discover the value of trust among teachers as colleagues. Why is trust important to a team of teachers? What are evidences of trust? We explore these questions and more during this episode of 6 to 8 Minutes. We take our camera crew to a K-4 through 12th grade school on the northwest side of Milwaukee. We are going to the charter school called Hmong American Peace Academy, also known as HAPA. More than 1,200 students attend HAPA. The teachers and students work relentlessly, and the results of success are seen in student achievement every day. But today, we want to go beyond the classroom. Instead of looking at map data or Badger exam results, we are searching for something different. We are searching for trust among the teachers. We decided to ask a few of the school leaders about their understanding of trust and its effects. A lack of trust affects many areas and people in a school system. It affects students, it affects teachers, it affects parents, it affects the whole culture of a school. Trust is foundational in any job, especially in instructional coaching. I'm the instructional coach at HAPA for grades two through five. And one of my goals this year as a leader at HAPA is learning and achievement development. I'm specifically working on Leadership Dimension 6.3, which states that a leader understands and uses theories of learning and change. The five dysfunctions of a team has been a helpful resource as I work to build trust among the staff. First, we build trust in our weekly meetings. We start with some sort of an icebreaker or a discussion piece, and then we collaborate together. We work on assessments, lessons, and planning. Another thing that we've done to build trust is spending time together outside of school. For example, each team has gone out to dinner together, and that has been such a fun opportunity to get to know the teachers and to find out about their lives outside of school. Another opportunity we've had to build trust with each other is taking a personality test. We've learned a lot about each other. One team was able to move to the next level of trust. The teachers have been given the opportunity to share about one person, that person's greatest contribution to the team, and then also something that that person should either stop doing or should tweak in order to help the team become even more successful. This has been really challenging for our teachers, but they have enjoyed it and they've become stronger as a result. To what degree do teachers actually trust one another? We asked the instructional coach to send out an online survey to the teachers in grades two through five. She asked every person the same 10 questions and the results were powerful. One grade level stood head and shoulders above the rest. So we decided to interview that team. That team was second grade. One of the things we started doing this year was just when we're doing work, we sit and do it together. We'll have lunch together and talk about things, or after school if we're all grading, we'll sit in the same room and grade together, and I just think that boosts our team atmosphere. And yeah, especially with, I felt like, lunch and grading. Um, after school, but then <coughs> as then we started talking like, oh, my kids struggled with this, and so then it was like, I don't think I would have brought that up if we weren't mm-hmm. hanging out together yeah. Yeah. while we were mm-hmm. doing it. Yeah, I think we each encourage each other to use like what they're good at. Like for example, Gauk is really creative. Like yeah. with her, she always finds like, like really doing creative anything with do. computers. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. And then Kate, like you think deeply, like you don't just say, okay, let's do that because it's done. You're like, well, does this actually work? You know? So I think, I think we do really use mm-hmm. each other's. Because then I, because usually I just am like, yeah, let's do it because it's like the first thing. Well, you were the one that fires out all yeah. the ideas. Yeah. So, like, so oh, oh, okay. but that's why we work well together. I fire out ideas, you make them more creative, <laughs> and you are like, eh, let's think a little deeper about this. <laughs> If I didn't, if I had someone on the team that I didn't feel 
jive with us, I I wouldn't share as much. It's true. Yeah, I would, just, I would probably just keep those thoughts in my head. Yeah. <laughs> I'd just be like, okay. But then really think of my own thing. Yep. Yeah, we, we definitely true. all we discuss our personal lives. <laughs> probably too much. Yeah, I was just going to say the same thing. Yeah, but sure. I think we have very distinct personalities, but I think we all work really well together. We're like sisters, I have to yeah. say. Something to their mothers, yeah. you know? <laughs> they are a team of teachers that are working well together and really helping our students, which is our ultimate goal, to help them learn and to grow as individuals. I can't wait to see more growth as the teachers continue to build trust in each other. You guys included me in, so I like that.